So hi there, the next section is on voltage. So let's start by discussing what it is and what it does. The voltage in a circuit actually provides the push for the charges to move through a circuit, the conductive paths. The analogy here is an electrical type of pressure, not dissimilar from uh, water pressure, which would be like in your plumbing, in your house. You have pressure in your pipes, so when you turn on the faucet, the water comes out. Um, so water always flows downhill. You can imagine there's electrical pressure if you have charges separated. They want to uh, recombine. And the hill height here in the water analogy would be analogous to the electrical voltage. So the higher the hill, the more potential energy or potential to do work uh, an object has. Likewise, the more charge separation and the higher the um, the number of charges that are separated corresponds to a higher voltage and a greater uh, pressure for those charges to flow. Another name for voltage is electric potential. It's an S potential to do some work. And sources of uh, voltage are your common uh, garden variety batteries, whether they be the kind you buy in the store or what's in your car. Uh, generators can generate a voltage. Um, and of course, we have some static charges which we've seen already. Any situation with charge separation. Okay, so here's an example of, um, uh, we have potential difference. We have these negative charges here and uh, an array of positive charges on the bottoms and there is a voltage that exists between them. If we take a small test charge, abbreviated by uh, Q, it's going to feel a force. It gets repelled by these negative charges and attracted to these here. So there's the force it feels, and it's these plates are separated by a distance s. Now force times distance, well that's work, if we remember that from the mechanical part of the course. We can also define this work in terms of the charge and the voltage, it's the product of this charge right here, uh, times the voltage that exists between the uh, plates. That deserves a box, so we're going to give it one, there it is. So, so the work done here is the charge. In, in between, this is a, something called an electric field, which you'll find out more in the next topic. Uh, is charge times the, the voltage. It's the work done. An example of that here, calculate the work done on a 5 microcoulomb charge moving through a potential difference of 120 volts. So there's the answer there. Units of voltage. Well, if work is charge times voltage and Q is in coulombs and work is in joules, if that's the case, then volts should be in joules per coulomb. The name given to that, to that joules per coulomb, is the volt. And it's named after, well, it's excuse me, abbreviated with just a V, and it's named after Alessandro Volta. He was an Italian guy who would like to rip frogs in half and connect uh, electrical leads to their nerves and make their legs jump long after they were dead. So an example of um, how to use this voltage unit is a 1.5 volt battery, which is like the common D cells that we've been using in lab. And you can measure volts with a voltmeter. This is a digital variety here, and we've seen one of those. This is an analog variety where the needle moves back and forth. Both are used today. Both are very useful. Analog allows you to see you know, changes, uh, like if there's voltages varying, this needle would waggle back and forth. It's much easier to see than these numbers flipping around. So analog still has a use today. And, um, okay, electron volt is next. What is that? It's actually a unit of energy. It's not actually, it's not a volt, it's a unit of energy. And it's defined as, uh, if you move an electron, accelerate an electron through a one volt uh, potential or voltage, you get an electron volt. So how much is that? Well, for example, one electron, here's the charge on electron, times one volt, there, it's 1.6 times 10 to the 19th, times 10 to the minus 19th joules, which is an electron volt. Okay, so that's the uh, section on voltage and electron volts. We'll see ya.